vloggers, it's me, Curly Queen, and today I got me a new pair of Crocs. But that's not the point. The point of this video is cringe. We all go through it. I personally embody it. But today we're just gonna be cracking down on cringe, baby. For all y'all Karens and Boomers out there who don't know what cringe is, the Euclidean. Webster Merriam definition of cringe is when you look at something bombastic side up. You do a little little jig in the pants and then you look away. Because I'm the expert. Like you can't be me. I'm the alpha. I'm the leader. I'm the one to trust. <laughs> See? Now you wanna look away and do a jig in your pants. Alright, I'm gonna start off strong. And when I mean strong, I mean choir girl. Yep, you heard it. The choir girl. So, I don't know about you, but whenever I'm in choir class, because it's required, get it? Required. <laughs> I, I, I like choir. And we learn how to sing, and you, you, you do your best. But whenever you're outside of choir, and you're with your group of friends, all chilling out, we pilling out, not pink for all, we pilling out. Moment of silence for Ice Spice. Anyway, whenever you're with your group of friends and everyone starts like singing and stuff and you're all like having a good time but no one's actually like full on going Mariah Carey. <laughs> no one's doing that. Like nobody. Except for that one girl who's just like, I don't want to say killing the mood, but she's killing the mood. Like everyone is having fun. Just stop singing to listen to this girl's voice who's trying way too hard to sing Wheels on the Bus Goes Round and Round. Like it's not, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. All right, we all just need to have this mutual understanding. So this story is something extremely personal that I've firsthand experienced. So every school has the cliques, the jocks, the emos, the pretty girls, breakfast club style, if you know what I'm saying. At my school, which is a very small school, not even 90 kids in the whole high school, um, the weird kids decided to be like, you and me and the beat go great together. And then they just start off this chain reaction of counter moves. Checkmate, I couldn't lose. But the thing is, it couldn't get any worse than them. So that's why everyone just started dating each other and it was just this one big mess. And by the end of the school year, not even one of them was still together. You know what I think is crazy and needs to stop immediately? So back in the 2000s, I mean, I was born in 2007. I'm an 07 baby, chucka chucka choo choo. But the people born like the very early, early stage of the 2000s, like 1999, 2001, 2002, those people, when they were teenagers, like if you look at photos from teenagers back then and teenage girls now, and the difference goes crazy. Because like the girls over here from the from the 2000s, they're like have like their braces, their headsets, like their Crayola eyeshadow that goes all around their eyelids. And then you see the girls now who have like it all figured out with their with their perms and like their their money maker highlights and like their makeup and their TikTok dances and their crop tops and their Lululemon and their Versace and Stanley cups. I think it just stopped at 2008 like cuz I was raised on Dora the Explorer, Dragon Tales, Arthur, the old shows like that and now kids these days are raised on like Coco Melon, YouTube Short Kids and I feel like they're learning way too much at such a fetal stage which is just like oh. if you know you know peak cringe is when you're cruising on down Walmart Kroger Target whatever you want to call it it's summer break you're on vacation you're enjoying yourself not thinking anything about school then you're walking down those aisles and you see someone that you were not planning on seeing ever again but you see that person you, your whole, you just freeze. And I feel like I want to know what their POV is too. When you see a teacher in public, what the beep do you do? Because when I see them, I either hide or go like, <laughs> hey, and I turn to my mommy and go to the checkout line. Like my mother is a teacher, shout out to Gigi. Go subscribe to her channel. But when you see a teacher in public, I don't feel anything in my 122 pound, except for cringe. As much as I've been procrastinating this subject, we need to crack down on it 
in order to reinstate the laws of society. So last year I took biology and there's nothing wrong with that, but when you're in that class and there's someone who's also in that class and you're learning about medical stuff and the person who's in that class with you, no names, when they're in that class with you and whenever you don't, I me mean, personally, I had a hard time understanding most of the subjects and when that person in the class tries to help you when it's the teacher's job to explain the infirmities but their way of explaining the infirmities is saying, oh yeah, I have midterm developed arthritis in my upper femur. You know those people who are just always trying to, whenever you're learning anything about medical issues, they're like, yeah, I have that. That's me. I have that. That's my medical issue, not yours. I have a stigma in my right nostril. That's me. I have dental hygiene issues. I have shoulder problems. I have ear lobe infection. Like nobody actually cares, okay? It's just cringe. You just feel that shiver down your pants, do a little dance in your pants when that happens. Like probably half the things that person said that I've personally experienced didn't even have those. They're just saying it to get attention. I don't even know if I'm gonna say it. I don't want to say it, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Two syllables. Dar man. If you are a human being and have experienced any of these felonies, I salute you. If you are one of these people who have committed any of these arsons, go milk a pregnant cow. But anyway, Tiger out!